I'm Eric, and at the age of 40, I walked away from a corporate desk job with all the benefits you could ever ask for and decided to roll the dice, bet on myself, and start a resale company. I buy storage lockers. Let's see what this stuff. Oh, it's signed. I go to live auctions. $30, $30, $25, I go on private picks. Quite a bit of stuff. Um... And so much more. So come along for the ride as I build this resale company from the ground up. And now, let's get to another episode of Reliable Resellers. Good morning, guys. What's going on? Hope you've had a really good day so far. Mine's been amazing. So uh, in today's video, what we're going to do, we're going to drive back out to the auction house. We'll pick up that paycheck and we'll get ourselves set back up for next week. We're going to be heavy on a lot of the garage sale stuff and just some toys that you guys have seen me buy. Uh, there'll be a few other like video game systems in there as well, but um, then we're gonna, going to uh, jump to a couple of Friday garage sales, and uh, we picked up some nice stuff this week on Friday at these garage sales. Um, so I'll show you that, and then we're gonna jump to, um, uh, we went on a private pick uh, Friday afternoon and scored a whole bunch of video games and video game systems. Uh, pretty good pickup, pretty good score. Um, so let's jump into the video. Let's do this thing. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, we're back. There's quite a few cars up here. So uh, we're going to be, let's see what number we are here. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're number 10. Let's get in line. All right, folks, we are all set up again this week. Let me show you what we have. So uh, the toy table is pretty decked out. We're going to see how this goes. So, uh, oh, yeah, we have to move these around. Um, we brought three of these guys last week, and the three of them, we got 20 bucks for the three of them the larger starting lineup guys so we brought a bunch more and we'll see how they do i'm gonna put the racing ones by the racing ones and move the baseball by the baseball um i'll do that in just a second then we have all the uh just a lot more hot wheel type cars um they've been doing about 10 15 bucks a flat so as long as they bring roughly that amount of money we'll keep bringing them out here um, some die cast cars, die cast cars, just some die cast cars. I uh, hear these three Nerf guns. You guys see me get it at a garage sale. Here's uh, about 10 or so of these um, concert programs. Um, these ones sell for about 10, 15 bucks on eBay, free shipping. So I figured we'll bring a couple of them out here just to kind of see how they do, um, to see if, you know, the lower value ones in the 10 to $15 range, do we bring them out here or do we find something else to do? That's what this first uh, set here is to do, is to figure out what to do with them. Uh, we have one, two, three, four flats of comic books. Um, we brought some vinyl records. They've just been stacking up for a while. Um, we do have, here's a Rolling Stones, a couple of Kiss records right there, nothing, nothing crazy. These are autographed, so there's an autograph. There's one uh, there, right there, George Benson, and right there. Uh, so a couple of autographed records, um, and then we have, that's it for this table, and we have, uh, we have one, two, um, so we brought these things out here. Yes, sir. Uh, we brought these out here just because they're not worth a bunch. So we'll, you know, try to get our money back for them. So there's two boxes here. Um, here is the video game stuff. Okay, so everything here powers on. Um, this guy does give the red ring of death. So this will need to be fixed. But everything powers on. I just don't have all the cables to connect it up to verify everything works um, fully. Um, I don't have a TV that I can plug them into, so um, they are out here. Uh, this is a PS4, got a GameCube, PS1, Genesis, 16-bit Genesis, and an Xbox. 
And then the only other thing I have uh, this week, I'll bring you right over here and show you, are these figures. Um, they are cast iron. They're um, on the bottom. It says Britain's Limited, made in England. These are really, really old. Um, these are plastic. These red guys. Everything else is cast iron. Um, and uh, they seem to think they'll do pretty well out here. So um, we'll see. So guys, that's what we have this week at the auction house. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Friday and um, it is Friday, November 12th, actually. Um, and there's a couple of garage sales on the apps and we're gonna drive over and um, just see if they have anything good. There's actually a community sale out in Zephyr Hills, um, but it's actually past the auction house probably a good hour away and I don't know if they put the right date <laughs> I don't know if they meant today because it's, it's only today um, on the app it, it shows today's date not tomorrow which is a little strange you know you would think they would have a community sale on the weekend um, so I just don't know if it's worth driving out there you know an hour uh, two hour round trip if it's not gonna be today. So I'm probably not gonna go all the way out there, um, but we're gonna drive around. There's like two or three, there's a couple of estate sales and one or two garage sales here in Tampa, at least on the apps. Uh, so we'll drive around, we're heading to one right now. It is uh, 7.23 in the morning and we'll be there in about 10 minutes. So let's go. Okay, estate sale. Let's go see what they got. Xbox 360 for 45. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder, Grand Funk, <coughs> Jackson 5, maybe tomorrow. Big sewing machines. Fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Okay, another garage sale. It's a big one. You have a lot. Yeah, you have a lot of stuff. Later, I might need a match. <laughs> Actually, it's just what it says to your family. Yeah, yeah. Two months when you got three families. How many uh, baseball cards around? Uh, no baseball No baseball cards? cards? Doesn't hurt to ask. My son has so many from you. Why they're from the, they're not real old though, but he hasn't, hasn't gone through them. Yeah. Had them so long they're from most of them are late seventies or eighties. Yeah. Which aren't old. Everything with the red club is a dollar. Okay. A whole ah. dollar, huh?
whole whopping dollar. So we just got a call from a guy about two hours ago actually um, and he said that he has a bunch of video games and video game systems he said he's got four or five different Xbox 360s and he's got a couple of Wii's and some PS3's and a whole bunch of games and um, so we're gonna drive over here and uh, check it out he said they all work um, he said he might keep the PS3s if he can't find all the cables and controllers so we can test everything. We'll see. Um, we are six minutes away from his house, so let's drive over here and let's check this out. Let's go. Okay, there's 30 of those. 30 of these. 30 of these. 20. Okay, so we just spent 170 bucks and just bought a whole bunch of video games. We bought two PS3s. We bought two, uh, two 3DSs that have um, need a little bit of repairs. One screen works, the other one doesn't. And we bought one Xbox 360. Um, we bought, uh, there's a lot of games. There's a lot of games for Xbox 360, original Xbox, PS2, PS3, and the PS1. Um, nothing great, but uh, for 170 bucks, it's a home run. Um, even if some of this stuff has to be repaired, this is, this is, uh, this is great. Um, so let me get home and I'll show you guys what we got at the few garage sales we, we uh, went to this morning. And I'll show you guys the, uh, the video game stuff that we just bought. Let's go. Okay, so let's go over the garage sale stuff first, and then we'll go over the video game stuff. So, at the first garage sale I went to, um, we found this stuff. So this guy had these um, these Chinese throwing stars. Nothing crazy. I mean, they are pretty sharp. Like they're they're legit. Um, but uh, those four, I don't think are much of anything. These four, I'm not sure if they're much of anything either. But they do say Japan on the back right there. Um, and then one of them actually says something like Alan Watts, right there, or or Alan Lee Grandmaster 1980. So that could be something good. There's one like it on eBay for about 20 bucks. I don't know, we'll see. These uh these rings, okay? So um like this one, these two here um they've got this price tag on it. It says blackjack men's blackjack jewelry.com. You know, it says 65 bucks. Now, is that really what it's worth? Who knows? But there's two of those. Uh, obviously, there's two of these. And this has a price tag on it of, what was it? 50 bucks. Uh, these two here, um, I think they're $20. Yeah, 1999 And one here with no, with no price tag. Uh, this one here, there is a price tag, but it's all uh, depleted. You can't really read what it says. And there's another one here. It says $24.99. And then these two here, I don't think, have price tags. So probably... Oh, that one just says size 12. So, um, so all of these. So all of... Oh, and um, uh, these two little pins here. Um... I just thought they were cool. I picked them up. I don't think it's real gold. Uh, it's got some weight to it, so if it is, holy cow, but I, I don't think it is. Um, and then these three rings here, obviously these are fake, um, but uh, they're cool. They're New York Yankee uh, world champion rings. 
you know, I'll probably get 15, 20 bucks for them. I think if I put these out at the shop, you know, I won't, I won't put these on eBay. Um, I'm not going to take these to the auction house. I'm just going to set this, um, out at, in the shop whenever we get it. And this will be one of the things people can just kind of look at. Um, they're, they're big, they're flashy. People's eyes will be drawn to them. So, you know, we'll just have them sitting out somewhere that where you can obviously see them when you walk in. So that was kind of the reason why I, I bought these, not because they're going to be big money makers, but I mean, I should make a couple bucks, but, um, you know, I, I think there'll be something that'll catch people's eye and might be something that will bring you in the door. Um, so at that same garage sale, we also found just randomly, uh, two snap on sockets here. So that was that first garage sale. Uh, we went to two other ones and, uh, at the last garage sale we went to, we ended up buying this right here and that DVD VCR combo. I'll show you in just as well. I'll just go ahead and show you. Uh, so we spent uh, $10 for these two. Um, this was on a dollar table and, uh, we paid, um, well, we basically paid 10 bucks for the pair. So I guess $9 and $1 or maybe 10 bucks. And this was thrown in for free, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so this year, uh, so DVD VCR combos, if you didn't know, they can be, um, pretty expensive over on eBay, especially the ones that do recording. Um, so, um, anytime you see them out in the wild, look them up. Um, if you can get them for decent enough, um, because they, they, they can go for big bucks. And this is one of the ones that do. So you, we have a Panasonic DMR ES 30 V. Um, I'll flash the price up on the screen of what this is selling for. Um, but you can see there, it's like 180, almost 200 bucks or, you know, 175, whatever it is. Um, so, you know, a nice score. We did plug it in. It does work. Um, it powers on, it connects up, plays DVDs, plays VHS tapes. Um, doesn't make any weird noises. Got the remote, the original remote, uh, the remote works. So that's a home run. Uh, this right here, I was really shocked and surprised. Um, I just kind of grabbed it because it's factory sealed. It'll be easy to list this up on eBay. Um, this was on, she had a, a, a dollar table and this was sitting on the dollar table. Um, so I just grabbed it, didn't look it up. Uh, got home, scanned it in and seen it was selling for about a hundred bucks. So Logitech Z205. That is selling for like a hundred bucks. Insane. We'll take it though. We'll take it. And then, um, so that was all from the garage sales. All right. Uh, then we had that pick that we went on where the guy called us with all the video game stuff. And, uh, so here's some of what we bought. We, we did buy one, um, Nintendo switch controller. The box is really beat up. Um, he said it was brand new, just never used. And I think this one, this side is brand new. This side, obviously, like there's some stains on it. It's obviously been used, um, but um, it should be fine. It should be operational. This is like 50 bucks um, over on eBay, maybe 35, 40, you know, we'll see, but it's at least 40 bucks. Um, here's a, a Nintendo 3DS and a Nintendo DS XL. They both work. Well, I don't know if this one even powers on. I don't have a charger for it, um, but this one, I don't have a charger for either one of them, but this one does have enough charge um, where, at least it did, there you go, blue light came on, um, where the top screen works, the bottom, here we go. So you can see the top screen works fine, the 3D of it um, works fine, but the bottom screen is having issues. So we'll sell it, um, as such and it'll be again about 50 bucks same with this one here um, we're just going to sell it um, for parts not working this bottom screen probably has to, you know if you look at it i mean the top screen might work and the bottom screen probably is going to be in the same same shape but um we'll, we'll sell them both as parts and i mean between the two of them you know maybe get 80 bucks or so so you know 80 bucks here 50 bucks here and um, we paid 100 and 70 for all the video game stuff. So power this off. I want to drain what little battery we've got in there. Okay, and I'll show you here. We also got um we got one, two PS3s. 
Um, and these are 10 different PlayStation 3 games. They're nothing special. It's mostly sports games. Um, and, you know, like in your, your Harry Potter. Um, that's, uh, let's see, there's just SOCOM 4. So nothing special in terms of the games, but um, you know, two PS3s, they do power on, but they've got some other issues. They, they aren't connecting up to the TV properly. So we'll take these out to the auction house. We'll put labels on them and let people know what's going on with them. And then uh, the people who know how to fix them will buy them and fix them and resell them. <clears throat> um, we got this Xbox 360. This is fully functioning. Um, has the um, a generic remote, but it does work. Uh, make some noises, but it does work. There's no problems with it as far as I can tell. Loads up, uh, connects to the TV fine, plays games fine. Um, I can access stuff on the hard drive and delete stuff and move stuff around just fine. So it's, it's scratched. It's really scratched up, um, but it works. There's nothing wrong with it as far as I can tell. And there's all these games. Um, you know, there's... Uh, I don't know. There's probably over 50 different games for the Xbox um, and Xbox 360 right here. And it's all the same type of games. You know, it's your sports games, um, uh, some like driving games and like war games in here, you know, but mostly, um, you know, mostly stuff like that. So nothing crazy. But when you lot it all up and you have 50 games in a working Xbox 360, you know, I mean, this right here should should bring me back the money I paid for everything. Uh, this will go on eBay. It's just not up there yet. Um, then over here we got one, two, three, four Xbox One games, and then these are just some PlayStation Two games. Nothing, again, nothing crazy, but um, just some old school PS Two games. So, um, so anyway, guys, so that's what we got, right? So, um decent haul at the garage sales will do okay um you know those rings will go out to the shop when we get there those snap-on um uh, sockets will just go back until i can get some more those chinese stars i you know i don't know <laughs> we'll see um and then uh, this here will go up on ebay for sure this is a home run and this will go up on ebay as well this is a home run so if i get 100 bucks for this and 150 for this i mean that's 250 bucks right there just for those um so anyway really successful day um the video game stuff will sell um most most of it will go to the auction house but the xbox 360 will go up on ebay um so sweet and uh these will go on ebay and uh as for parts and uh, these will go up on ebay as well so anyway guys that's pretty much a wrap uh that's going to be the video for today um really appreciate you watching um like comment subscribe if you want to and uh come back tomorrow we'll do something else bye guys